What's on ladies and gentlemen, my name's Ross, I like games, and today we're going to be having a little bit of a look at the best planes. We're going to be ranking all of the planes in the Transformers trading card game. We've looked at the best characters and all of that, but what I thought might be good is to do a little bit of a series where we take each of the types of characters and really look at all the types in one video. The ranking's not terribly important, but things are way more fun when we rank them, right? So let's have a look at all of the planes. There are eight of them, and in at number eight, We've got Ramjet. And here's a weird thing, right? Even though Ramjet comes in as the worst of the planes, I'm not that mad at Ramjet. Ramjet is fine. It's not great. But I think as the kind of worst of the eight planes, it's really not that bad. Now, one of the things going against it is that it's a 10 cost. 10 cost is not great. You've got 25 stars to work with. 10 is a significant portion of them. The 14 health is really nice. It is above average. And really, what we love here is in alt mode, an attack of 7. The average is 4, so an attack of 7 is really good. The problem is you have a defense of 0, which kind of mitigates your great health of 14, and honestly, as a 10 cost, I don't think it's quite good enough. I know it's a decent smasher, and it can do some good damage, but it still comes in at number 8. In at number 7, we've got Jetfire. And apologies to Jetfire, right? It is the only Autobot plane we have. Like, seriously, there is one Autobot plane. It's Jetfire. I quite like Jetfire. First of the thing is that we've got a very large health of 15. Now, you do have a cost of 10 again, which sucks. But 15, check this, even better than 14. But I think there's something to like. Now, both modes have a defense of 1, which is bad. Half the average of 2. But when you're in bot mode, when you flip to this mode, you put an armor or utility from your scrap pile onto this character. So although you've only got a defense of 1, you've got a health of 15, which is great, and you can then grab an armor or utility to give yourself a little bit extra bulk. Maybe it's a blast shield to give yourself plus 2 defense. Maybe it's a force field. Now, I love the combo with force field here because essentially what you do is you have your force field. When you're attacked, you only take four damage and then it goes away. But you can then grab force field back out of the discard pile. You don't have to recycle it or any of that rubbish, which is why I really like this. Now, if we pop ourselves into alt mode here, we have bold one. We got an attack of 5, which is higher than the average, but more importantly, we got a bold of 1. Which means you're flipping an extra battle card when you attack, you're flipping 3, whereas you would usually only be flipping 2. So that's kind of nice. Decent attacker in alt mode, decent bit of bulk in bot mode, but only good enough for number 7. In at number 6, we've got Skywarp, and honestly, ladies and gentlemen, what I like about Skywarp... It's a six cost. That's pretty much it. There are plenty of good combinations you can make with planes where you end up at like 18, 19 stars. And just having Skywarp to fill in the gap is beautiful. After Skywarp, the next cheapest plane is an eight cost. So if you've got six or seven stars remaining, Skywarp's got your back. It's average. Well, mostly. You've got average attack. Average defense, below average health of 8 sucks, but then again, you've got below average cost of 6. When you're defending in bot mode and you flip at least one icon, you can redirect the damage to another character, which is kind of nice. Means you can keep Skywarp alive if you really want to. And when you are in alt mode, or when you flip to alt mode, each player reveals the top card of their deck. It's not stunning, but it does give you a little bit of extra information. You can see one of the cards your opponent is going to flip when they attack or defend next. So, it, it's a six cost. In at number five, Starscream Scheming Second in Command. The stats are quite nice, but it's a ten cost, and the ten cost puts me off here. 
You have got health of 14, which is above average. You've got attack of 5, which is above average. Defense of 1 is below average, which sucks. It's just a very kind of vanilla -y card, although it's not a vanilla card. In bot mode, you've got tough 1. Flip one more card when defending. In alt mode, you've got bold 1. Flip one more card when attacking. And because the stats are exactly the same, regardless of which mode you're in, you can essentially set your mode depending on whether you're attacking, bold, or defending, tough. Which is quite nice. And look, as a 14 health with 5 attack, it is good. Being able to give yourself bold or tough is good. I just think with it being a 10 cost, it's just a little bit awkward. It is a better card than Skywarp, but if you wanted to flip these two around because of Skywarp's cost, I wouldn't be terribly mad at you. In at number four, we've got Slipstream. Fun fact, by the way, if you list all of the character cards from Wave 1 in alphabetical order, from Skywarp to Thundercracker, there's like six in alphabetical order. Just thought I'd pop that out there. So, Slipstream then. It's an eight cost, which is good. It's nice and cheap. Although I think there is a better 8 cost, we'll get to that. 13 health, slightly above average. 3 attack, slightly below average. 1 or 2 defense, well, either average or just below. But when you're in bot mode and you attack and you flip at least 3 different icons, you get plus 3 attack until the end of the turn. Now this puts you up to an 8 cost with 6 attack, which is phenomenal. 8 cost when the average is 12, 6 attack when the average is 4. That is brilliant. The problem is you need to basically flip a blue, a white, and an orange icon. Now, the good news is the first white icon you flip, you do get to flip two more battle cards. But even so, it's a little bit awkward. If you really focus on giving this bold, using cards like Supercharge, then you can flip a lot of battle icons. And that means you're going to probably hit the three different. Which means that you're probably going to have an attack of six. But then, of course, because you're focusing on bold, you're going to hit some more orange icons. If you flip three different icons, you must have hit an orange, which means you've got an attack of at least seven. This can add up quite nicely. When you're in alt mode and you one of your planes attacks, you get to move a damage counter from that plane to the defender. That makes it a really nice utility in planes decks just to do a little bit of healing move some damage counters around this can be quite good not amazing but just getting those one or two damage off yours could save a ko getting one or two damage onto your opponent could get a ko that that sounds like fun to me in at number three we've got sunstorm it's an 11 cost which is expensive, but the 14 health is great. The defense of free in alt mode is great, and I like the skills here. The skills are what put it up at number three. When you're in bot mode, your attack is equal to the number of cards that you have in hand. Now, there are plenty of draw cards in the Transformers trading card game. It's just... A little bit awkward so we got stuff like equipment enthusiast which draws a card for each of your upgrades but the fact that you generally have a hand of free and you draw one card per turn and you want to play cards and it there is a way somebody someday and it might not be in wave one it might be a card from wave two but sooner or later somebody is going to make a deck where you can have a giant hand and this becomes a phenomenal attacker. There's a lot of potential here. And then when you flip to alt mode and you've got fewer than three cards in hand, draw until you've got three cards in hand. This is just such a great utility for drawing cards. There are not that many Transformers characters that draw cards. I mean, there are some. I mean, Dinobot Snarl comes to mind as one that can draw cards so you can draw cards here but there are very few and this is one of the better ones we've got playing a planes deck being able to draw some extra cards really is kind of funky and i'm a fan of that now as far as i'm concerned the six we've looked at so far i'm happy with a list i made the list but i wouldn't be terribly upset if you moved them around because of personal preference decks you've made etc
But I think one and two are one and two. And in at number two, we've got Thundercracker. Thundercracker is an eight cost, dead on average. 12 health, dead on average. And yeah, the defense of one sucks, but you've got an attack of five in bot mode, which is quite nice. But then when you play an action, you get plus one until the end of turn. Well, hang on a second. That seems pretty good, because unless something goes wrong, you're going to be playing an action every turn. So now all of a sudden, you're actually rocking with six attack on an average cost character. That's really good. Although I am personally a bigger fan of... Of when you flip into alt mode and you get to do two damage to a melee enemy. Just doing two damage is really, really good. I mean, something like Plasma Burst does two damage to an enemy. That's an action card and because it's so good, it doesn't even have a pip. It's a blank card in that top right hand corner. I know, right? I really like this. Now, not everything is a melee character. There's plenty of non-melee characters. But having said that, there's a whole bunch of super relevant melee characters. Something like Optimus Prime Battlefield Legend. Melee character. Nemesis Prime Dark Clone. Melee character. And that's actually in both modes. So, yeah. You're not always going to get this, but there are going to be enough times that you get this that I get somewhat excited. But by now, if you know your planes, you know that number one, it's the other Starscream. Yeah, it is. It is Starscream Air Commander. It's an 11 cost, which really is not that expensive for what it is. How for 13 is nice. I'm going to be honest, right? The stats aren't great. The health of 13 is good, but you've got average attack and below average. You've got average defense and below average, but you've got great skills. When you're in bot mode, you've got bold 2, and that's when you've got the better attack and the better defense. And bold 2 is nothing to sniff at. You can obviously build it up with stuff like supercharge, but bold 2 in and of itself. And yeah, fine, Optimus Prime Freedom Fighter's got bold 2, but that's also a 12 cost, right? So, I'm, I'm fine with that. Bold 2, as a skill, is good. But then, when you flip into alt mode, what we see here is you get to do 2 damage to any one of your opponent's characters. That's crazy. That's dumb. Now, when I say 2 damage, what I mean is... Two damage if you've got two other planes out. Thundercracker is definitely two, but only to a melee character. Starscream is two if you've got other planes out. And they've got to be in plane mode. Bot mode doesn't count. And if they're taken to the scrap pile, it doesn't count. They're a downside. It's not the easiest thing to use. But the fact that you can have bold two in one mode and really good cheeky damage in the other, yeah. Maybe this list is slightly biased because personally, my planes list at the moment, I'm playing Starscream Air Commander, Thundercracker, Mac Warrior, and Skywarp just to make up the extra cost. And I know that some people are going to disagree with this list, but look, that's why there's a comment section. So go nuts, please be nice, and hey, why don't you give me your own list from 1 to 8? I would be delighted to read it. And then please make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, where I talk about Transformers and other things. But by far the most important thing, as always, is to look after yourselves. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross, and you've been watching Wossy Plays.